Hi guys, hope you're well. It is Tuesday dinner time, it is my lunch hour, I'm working from home. Don't have to wear shirts when you work at home. The wife's out, the kids are at school. Let's talk watchers. <laughs> Right, so last week was a really busy week for me, uh, watch-wise anyway, and I picked up one of my watches that I have admired all time, the Tudor Black Bay Red. It is just stunning. Yeah, I fell into a bit of a trap because it's extremely, to not extremely top-heavy, but it is top-heavy, but it's a little bit smaller than the Pelagos. Is it the end of the world? Is it a game-changer? No, I don't think it is. I absolutely love this watch. I'm really, really enjoying it. I don't think it looks too big. It's... Sometimes when it does that, yeah, it ride, rides down, it really pisses you off. But I'm getting used to it, I'm getting used to the weight, and when I look at it, it's just going, oh, it's a beautiful watch. I love the pink, gold, I just think it's stunning. The, the bezel, because it's aluminium and not ceramic, it's a lot richer, it's a lot warmer, so I am really enjoying it, and I'm enjoying it that much that three days later <laughs> I bought another watch, a Bremont. Now, Marmite Company, I've got a real soft spot for Bremont. I really do like a lot of their watches, a lot of their designs. And are they a high-end company? A watch company? I think they are for sure, yeah. I got the White Rose Shopping Centre in Leeds and they've got three national jewellers in there. They've got Goldsmiths, Beaver Brooks and Ernest Jones. And the brands that they've got between the three of them are Amiga, Longines, Tag, Bremont, Oris, Rado and a few others. So if I put that list together like that, I'll have got Tudor as well. Amiga's going to be up there, Tudor's going to be up there. But if I look at the rest of them, I'd say Bremont's probably above all of them, in my eyes anyway. I think they're a, a high-end watch brand. So yeah, there's contentious decisions that they've made in the past, but I really do like them. Uh, like long jeans, you'd have to argue, I've got some real heritage, but I won't look at a long jeans and think it's better than a Bremont at the moment. So the, the case quality, the looks, the designs, I'm all for Bremont and that British connection. Yeah, it's something to be proud of, I think it is, to be honest. So I really do like the fact that not all watches are from Switzerland or Japan. You know, there's not many British watches out there, so I'm proud to own this one. I fell into a bit of a... I didn't particularly go out looking for a Bremont. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, sometimes I just like the Tudor Black Bay Red, so I wanted a Black Bay Red or a Black Bay. But sometimes I want watches that are in certain categories, so I want a two-tone watch at the moment. And I was looking on eBay for a white dial watch. Uh, if I had to pick one, it'd be the Rolex Explorer 2 Polar. That's my favourite. But when I found this, it's such a ridiculous steal. What a bargain. So let's get a closer look at the Bremont Solo. Ooh. Right guys, here we are. It comes in this unique shape box to be honest. You don't get any watch boxes like that. And inside it gets this little bag here as well, but I forgot to put that in so it will ruin the surprise. And then you get this definitely, definitely not leather pouch. But never judge a watch by its box. So within here you get the little Bremont thing to change your, your strap, which is pretty cool I've got to be honest and I do use that quite often and I'll come back to that in a bit because that has got some quite interesting information in there and then you zip it out here just before I do you can, you can get a little extra straps to put in here as well so that could actually be used later down the line as a bit of a travel case or something like that so I think it's probably a better idea than the bog standard boxes and here we are drum roll please oof look at that that is a stunning, stunning white dial. It is a 43mm watch. So, I said I would never, ever buy a 43mm watch again. But because of these lugs here, and the way they curve down so well, and the, the strap comes straight down like that, it does wear, and I can just about get away with it. So I am happy. I was concerned at 43mm, and it's all dial watch, but actually because of the case, and then it's got an inner bezel, which just breaks it up a little bit, so it's not completely massive spoon face, moon face dial. So look at the back of this as well. Are you ready? Oh, oh, oh. oh look at that. 
see the movement look at that that is really really nice so it's got Bremont signed here and it says chronometer 10 ATM solo 14795 automatic and Bremont now that is a really really nice case but they do special editions of these and I think they've put little engravings either on the red bits or in between as well so that's pretty cool as well 22 mil width there and it's a really thick tough padded leather strap which is nice and the really unique thing about buying a used watch which I've never got into before I've always wanted to buy new but this came with scratches already on it. Now I'm not going to complain about a used watch with an absolute steal. I got it for nearly 50% retail. Absolute bargain. So it had a few marks on it but because I hadn't made those marks it sort of took that honeymoon period phase out of it and I could just get on with wearing the watch and enjoying it. So obviously in these Covid times I got it straight in the bath. I give it a bit of a soaping down and I wiped the, the breath, the strapped down with some wet wipes just because I'm paranoid and a bit of a weirdo and it's come up absolutely stunning that crown is amazing as well look at that so yeah I cleaned it up it's had a few scratches on it already and I've just gone into wearing it straight away and I've, I've loved it I've absolutely loved it so that's a 41 mil and that's a 43 now because of the bezel it does look bigger but it's only a little bit bigger I'm just going to try it on for you see what you think so I'm leaning over the camera Trying to do all this while talk, pressure's getting to me. Guess what? I'm getting a sweat on. Oh my gosh. Good lord, Andrew, come on. So that's nice as well. Look at that. Rim up mark clasp. Yeah, how all all polished. I can't get my wrist round enough, hang on. There we go. So it looks like a friggin' moon on it there. But trust me, in person it doesn't wear that bad at all. So I am really enjoying it, it's a good size and because of that white dial it's going to be fantastic on other straps, on other NATOs. I've already bought myself a grey NATO and a green NATO to go with this. So I'm looking forward to them coming in the post. If there's a knock at the door hopefully it will be him, the postman that is. So let's just see if these work again. I had to throw them away last time. So yeah, we are looking at 42, 43 mil watch, that's fine. But this is the good one, it's slimmer than the Black Bay Red. It's only 13.3 and it's got a curved crystal as well, a domed crystal. So it is a, a slim watch and that triptych case, I find it really, really attractive. Triptych because it's triple part of case, so it's got a back, a side and a top. So yeah, I think they're a lot nicer than the basic, like my Bremont Broadsword. That's just a, a two-piece case. Nice watch, but this has just got a bit more... A bit more jazziness about it. I think it's fantastic looking to be honest. There's not much to complain about this watch. If I were being super picky I'd probably go for a 41, 42 but there's not much in it and because of the white dial and the simplicity of it, it's a classic design and I don't know if you can tell but look when the light... So this camera's just cut out on me again. I don't know what's going on, but it's starting to really, really piss me off. I've just been talking for about 10 minutes. I did loom shots and everything. It's some of the best freaking work ever. So what I was just watched it back to see where I was. The light reflects off the polished markers. Absolutely fantastic. So yeah, they're not loomed, but it looks fantastic. And it it's really photogenic, which, you know, for 99.9% .9 of the world doesn't mean anything. But for me that likes taking photos of my watches, and I'm sure a few of you guys are a bit weird like that as well, it is a really photogenic watch, and it, it attracts the light, especially I, I put it on the windowsill the other day, and the natural light was shining in, and you could just see it glinting in the sky uh, on, the, on the markers, and I just thought, oh, yeah. So I'm loving this watch, really enjoying it. But you know what I'm like, that's me in a month, I probably won't even have it. So let's charge the loom up. So what I was saying about the loom is it is good loom, but I'm assuming that loom must be a very expensive thing to apply to a watch. So you've got it every hour marker, fair enough. You've got it at 12, 3, 6 and 9 and then you've got the hands. All the hands are loomed up, which is great. So that's charged up. I'm just going to turn the light off. Hopefully it doesn't turn the camera off again. And we're still recording. Look at that. So if I just go like that, you can see that it's a really, really good loom. But what annoys me about all watch companies when they do this is they put brilliant loom on the hands and then they put piss poor loom around here. And I just think, well, 
just don't put that loom around there. The reason I know that is because I charged it up the other night, I went to bed, and when I checked in the middle of the night, I couldn't see any of these, any of the hour markers, any of the big ones, I could just see the two big hands. Obviously, that's all I need to tell the time in the middle of the night, but why have these that just fade out into nothing after such a short period of time? I mean, look, are they fading enough? No, they're not, to be fair. But yeah, the hands are so much brighter, so much better. Don't put crappy loom on your watch. I'd rather you just fill it up, load it with loom, or don't put it on at all. That halfway house is just a bit crappy, to be honest. But yeah, for a, a you know what is, in essence, a dress watch, has got some decent loom on it. I mean, they do a, a matte brushed version of this as well, which looks cool, but there isn't many photos of this on Instagram. And I'm here just to say, if you get opportunity to try this and you can cope with a 43mm, yeah, I'd have a go, because it is a really, really, really nice watch. So, what I wanted to do mainly is come across this. I never really talk about this, because it's proper boring. But in here, you get your international warranty, fair enough. You get your solo technical notes, so if you can't set a watch, shocking behaviour and then that is just to say that it came from Chris Home Hunter in the blue water it's a solo P1470 and it bought on the 21st of January this year so bear in mind this watch was brand new in January and I've got it for half price retail what are we in now October that's fantastic this is what I want to talk about this is really interesting so it tells you all its measurements and it actually shows you over a Get in here now, so I don't know if you can see that. So that's days. It's tested over 15 days and it's tested in all these different positions. So vertical at 6 o'clock, vertical at 3 o'clock, vertical 9 o'clock, horizontal dial down, horizontal dial up, horizontal dial up. Don't know why that is again. Oh, because the temperatures are different, look. So they've changed the temperatures. They've been 23 all throughout, then they've dropped it down to 8 and upped it to 38. So, yeah, they're trying it in different temperatures, which is fantastic. These are all the different markings they get to make sure that it is a cost watch. But, brand new watch in January. Look when it was tested. So, is it a brand new watch? Look at that. That is disgusting. I've just noticed that. Cut myself the other day. It's a right mess. That's going to look great, isn't it? Sorry, guys. So, <laughs> look at that. It's a four-year-old watch. Brand new this year. Makes you wonder, doesn't it, how long they do sit in the windows for. Maybe that, that, the guy that I bought it off, he did get it in the sale, to be fair. But yeah, so it was tested 27th of the 9th, 2016. For those four years it's been sat in that shop window, how long do you reckon they've had it fired up, running to cost certification? I've tested it, it's running within a couple of seconds a day, so it is spot on, but it just makes you wonder, doesn't it? So... Mean daily rate in different positions, mean variation, maximum variation, difference between flat and hanging positions. So yeah, it's a COSC certified watch for 1,600 and some quid. I don't think you can argue with that. Right guys, let's get back. Right guys, so you'll have seen at the beginning that this went to exactly 12 o'clock when I started this review. And if you look at the time now, it is just coming up to half past 12. So I've literally done a quick 30 minute lunchtime review, even had the camera run out of battery on me as well. So, I better put this back on. So, I, do you know what guys, I really hope you give Braemont an opportunity, I mean they don't owe me out, but it's a British brand, I really like them, and just go out and try one on. I know a lot of people, whenever I put a vote on Instagram, they're always like 50-50%, some people love them, some people don't like them, so... You're not going to win them all, are you? But I really like this. I'm glad I've got it. I've got two Bremonts in the collection now. I don't know if I'll keep the broadsword in all honesty because yeah, although I really like it, it it's quite a, a tool-tastic, basic watch. And in a way, the Air King sort of fills that void because that's sort of like a tool watch, aviation watch, where I can just wear it. The day just is going to be my, you know, my jazzy watch. This is like a dress watch now, so I'm going to be wearing that to work and stuff as well. I think it's... A real statement piece. I think it looks fantastic in all honesty. So yeah, I'm really, really enjoying the Bremont Solo. So I've got to get back and do some proper work now or I won't have any money to buy watches. Not that I have enough anyway. Right guys, over and out. I'll see you in the next one.